Germany's energy transition is changing the energy production landscape. From a few large producers located next to areas with high consumption to many small producers, some of them far away. This will be a fundamental change in the electricity network. The difference between grid planning today and several decades ago is the great uncertainty. We know that renewable energy involves a lot of volatility, and the increasing use of IT will make managing the system very complex. We'll have to create an accurate picture of a very uncertain future, based on very large amounts of data. But how do we do this? How can Tenet adapt the existing electricity network, which has evolved over many years, so that it remains stable? The key is to run simulations of entire model years. We analyze information on the current and future structure of energy production in Europe, such as markets and power stations. We add what we know about political goals, and we include detailed meteorological data. In this way, we make predictions about the future electricity flow in the grid. For these model years, we can see how much power will be fed into the grid during each hour, all the way down to the local level. In this way, we can know today what a typical critical day will be like, say, in November 2025 or 2035. Let's take the 25th of November 2025. A hazy, windy day. Power will have to be fed into the grid by both conventional power plants and wind turbines. Moreover, large amounts of electrical power will have to be transmitted through the grid. Our goal today is to look ahead and prevent bottlenecks. In the short and medium term, we will increase the capacity of the existing grid by taking measures in data systems technology, information technology, and in some cases, also load flow control. In the long term, we must expand the grid and build new transmission lines, for example, using HVDC technology. Tenet is working closely with universities and research institutes on these topics. These measures can reduce the need to construct new transmission lines, and this can benefit the economy by keeping down electricity costs. But the new concepts will require new rules in order to ensure continued grid stability. We call these network codes, and they're currently being implemented at the European level. Network codes are like rules of the road. They specify how a large number of participants must behave. To have a secure future, we must implement grid planning in a European context. The German energy transition is being followed throughout the world. Grid planning for the integration of renewable energy sources provides the physical basis for transmission to customers. That is what makes our work so challenging and exciting. Besonders herausfordernd und extrem spannend.